attracted the attention of the British media in the past. This graph shows the resection rate adjusted for various confounding factors such as sex and age. This is a real difference. The background to this is the standard UK lung cancer pathway. Because of our state healthcare system, virtually all cases of lung cancer are referred in from primary care to a specialist lung cancer service. They are initially screened by a chest physician and then discussed at a multidisciplinary team which will include a chest physician, an oncologist and hopefully in most cases a surgeon. But this is the first point where the surgeon is involved in the lung cancer pathway and unfortunately it is the case in the United Kingdom that not all cases of lung cancer are discussed in the presence of a surgeon at the MDT. The decision uh, is made by the MDT then to refer the case on to the surgeon and as I'll show you in the United Kingdom if you have lung cancer you may or may not see a surgeon who has a specialist interest in that disease. One of the benefits of this, well, one of the aspects of this presentation has shown the benefit of the National Lung Cancer Audit, which is a way of recording all the data pertaining to lung cancer patients within our state healthcare system. And our presentation is based on the analysis of its results. Within our national healthcare system, I'm focusing now on England, there are 33 cancer networks comprising 174 hospital trusts. 18% of these trusts have thoracic surgical centres. But in 58% of these trusts, there are less than two pure thoracic surgeons. 